Behind a set of ornate bronze doors surrounded by ancient mosaics hangs a sculpture that very few people ever see. And if you happen to be in the museum on a day when those doors are open, walk over and take a look up the stairs. You'll be struck by a large sculpture made up of materials that are very modern for its time. Wire, plexiglass, mesh, and an aluminum framework form a relief and vertical construction that are suspended above. Construction by Nam Gabo is one of the secret gems of our collection, sitting quietly behind mostly closed doors. Made in 1951, Construction was Gabo's first major sculpture project. He was commissioned by the museum to create a sculpture for the stairwell of their newly constructed Sadie May Education Wing. A mobile was originally suggested for the space, but Gabo wanted to take advantage of the movement created by the visitor on the stairs. He said, The spiral movement of the ascending and descending spectator, if incorporated in the conception of the sculpture, would give an imaginary movement to the sculpture. For that given problem, this seems to me the only solution. Having committed myself to this theory, it became my task to solve it in practice. Gabot began his education in science and engineering, but later discovered art. He was part of the constructivism art movement that focused on modern materials and design. Gabot, as a part of this movement, conceived of space differently than others before him. He explored the ideas of representing space without a solid mass, and you can see this in the BMA's construction, the way he uses the clear plexiglass to define much of the space. His interest in finding exactly the right industrial materials even caused delays in the sculpture's completion. The factory that made the wire was busy with government contracts and couldn't produce Gabot's order quickly enough. It eventually came together and was installed in late 1951. He dedicated it to the memory of Sadie May since she died before seeing the completed sculpture. And museum spaces are constantly changing and the May Wing is no exception. The education areas were later relocated from the upstairs to another part of the building and the classrooms became the conservation department. And I wish that the public could see this and experience this sculpture in the same way that I do from the top of the stairs, but I take solace in our ever-changing nature and hope that the museum's next evolution will once again reveal construction as Gabo intended.